Uh oh. Heading out from Savannah, Georgia. Um, what do we got? Three and a half hours today. Three and a half. To uh, murals in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she gonna beat me. Let's go. Oh, we get to go over the bridge. <laughs> Boy, I heard that. That hit. That just hit off my helmet. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> what kind of back was it? I have no idea. It was a big one. It knocked my helmet back a little bit. <laughs> I heard it in the speaker. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to stay on 17 and go this way towards um, Charleston. Buford, we'd go straight, so that's where Paris Island is down there, the Marine Boot Camp. Beer from cider to jams and jellies, but we have no room, so we can't spend any money. Oh. <laughs> I recorded that dragonfly like coming straight at me. <laughs> That big bump. Sorry. That was big. Yeah, that was big. Takes the front wheel and makes it go crazy. Oh really? Yeah. Uh oh. Watch out! Watch out! Scott! Scott! Oh, get Scott, off! Scott. Get off! Get off! Get off! Hurry! Get off! I'm trying, but there's cars here. What happened? Here we go, Trace. Oh. I'm watching, okay? Okay. Oh, shit. There's so many cars coming so fast. Yeah, but right now, we're okay. Oh, I'm so scared. Sorry. It's all right. Um, we're gonna come over here. Just bring. We're gonna take the bike up there, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna walk up there. Yep. Walk up there. I'm gonna see if I can take the bike, okay? Okay. 
<laughs> Your jacket is in here. That's what's the problem. What? Your jacket is in here. Your jacket is. I don't know where your jacket is. Mm. Uh, is it in the spokes? Yeah, it's in here. Oh. It won't go. What are we going to do? Oh, God. Oh. It's okay um. right now. Yeah, I think if you could stay there with your flashers, that'll help. Okay. This, my jacket or a jacket, watch out here. A jacket got caught into the back oh. and it's stuck up in there. So I'm trying to get that. Okay, alrighty. I'm just going to go up over there if I, if I can, yeah. Okay. She's going to move over to block both lanes. Let's see, go this way. Go that way. They can't, babe. Come on over here. Alright. Oh my God, you're a lifesaver. That was so scary. You don't know how much we appreciate you. It's so awesome when people stop and help. You ask yourself, why me? Instead, ask yourself, now what am I going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Ask yourself that question. And then figure it out. Figure out what you're going to do. Say to yourself, I am going to detach. I am going to assess the situation. I am going to come up with a plan and I am going to execute. And then start moving. What happened back there was that my jacket, which was in, on a bungee to the back, um, and we checked, everything was tight, somehow slipped down, and my back wheel grabbed it, and it went up between the wheel and the frame, and it, the jacket's made out of Kodura, which is a really strong material, and it wouldn't tear, it wouldn't do anything, so it just locked the back wheel up. We're a little shaken. <laughs> I'm not as soon as for yourself. <laughs> I mean as soon as we came to a stop and you know we were upright I was fine it was just kind of a shocker all of a sudden be going 40 mile an hour and then or 30 whatever and then have the back wheel just lock up Crazy bridge traffic, isn't it? It is. It's like... It's like my legs. Parking garage anxiety. I get it. <laughs> Sitting on a bridge too long. <laughs> Feel the bridge shake up and down? Yep. Not like it. Isn't that fun? Nope. Stopping at the Low Country Harley Davidson shop. Found a low spot on the tire.
there's a groove on the tire there. We're gonna have them change the whole back tire. It's just not safe, I don't think, to drive. So uh, probably be here for a couple of hours, get a new tire on it, just wanna be safe. So there's a good part to today about getting a tire change at Harley-Davidson is we get to hang out at a Harley-Davidson shop for a couple hours. And this one's a pretty nice one. All right, we got 2020 Lowrider S, exact bike I have. Here's stock version. Tell you, inflation has hit everyone. Twenty-one thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, I was quite a bit lower than that with a brand new one straight out the door. So that's what my bike looked like when I first picked it up, new, about a year ago. Teresa and I are heading out early from Mural's Inlet. Uh, the weather, I'll show you here, uh, looks pretty brutal the next two days. And if we leave now, uh, there's a chance we can kind of scoot through it. In about an hour and a half to two hours, it's all gonna change. Uh, we're gonna have some pretty decent thunderstorms come through here. We'll try to miss them today. Uh, it'll be hit and miss, but let's go. That was a quick trip. Really quick. It was fun though. Yeah. Taylor and I had our morning coffee, watching the sunrise. That's what we wanted to do. This is a bouncy bridge. It is a bouncy bridge. That's shutting us down. Not gonna go in that, are you? Nope. Pulled over for what, an hour, hour and a half? Yeah, it wasn't bad, we ate. It's gonna be hit and miss all the way home. It's definitely getting dark. Yeah, it's this is gonna be a, a downpour somewhere. 
Green River Gulch is gorgeous. Hey, look at that rain. It's covering the mountain. That's not the way we're going, though, is it? No. We are going this way, which <laughs> is just as bad a cloud. Those are some dark low clouds right there, I'm telling you. Yeah, they are. Let's get away from that. I'm just going to sneak Look at here. the little funnel cloud coming down over here. Oh, yeah, there is, isn't there? That is a funnel cloud. That is a funnel cloud. Well, we're one mile. I'm going to... We're going to be getting off of here right now. Is this it? Yep. This is it. Now we need to try to get in there as dry as possible <laughs> for them to say, yeah, you can hang out here for an hour or two. All right. You all right? Yeah. A little stress eating. A little. <laughs> <laughs> We've got probably about 45 minutes left. What is it? One thirty. One o'clock, something like that. Went through the pass between Asheville and uh, Knoxville, or Asheville and Newport, about 30 miles uh, in rain, basically. So, in dark, that was fun. So these uh, Odin gloves, good gloves, highly sought after gloves, highly sought after. People buy them all the time, let's just say that. Um, here's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> the dye has done it to both hands. And that's a black dye. Uh, yeah, so that would be good going into clinic and seeing people. <laughs> Alright, well, it's time to get back on the motorcycle and head home, right? Did you say we left about 12 hours ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say we've uh, put some miles on, haven't we? We did. Some good, some bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is us. 1155 miles in four days. Uh, just about home. This will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, we'll see you later.